and welcome to Windy Scavenger number 430. Um, as you know, we're going to be doing this weekly. This is the second week. I have one new comic, which I'll be getting to in just a minute. First, we need some people watching this series. And I've been happy with the number of people that have come in and subscribed so far. It's great. Um, we need to explode. Um, so I'm going to rely on all you new subscribers to help spread the word. Um, what I'm going to do here is make a little contest. The person that wins the contest will um, receive a whole package full of my comics, uh, including my Smiley's graphic novel, which is a $10 value, and 21 issues of Time Traveler, um, which is my comic series. These are some of the issues you will receive. You'll get each and every one of these 20 pages with all kinds of features and backups and fun stuff in them um, that hopefully you want. <laughs> anyway, what you're going to have to do to get this is leave comments and spread the word. If you share the video with your friends and family and whoever else you know, um, we will be able to build this channel into something that actually makes my showing this comic work. Um, and it's what we're going to be trying to accomplish long haul. If you get your um, my brain sticks. Um, if you get your um, comic featured in the thing, people see it, people come to you, want it, we go from there. Uh, everybody wins. So the contest will be um, share the video and then leave a comment below. The person who leaves the coolest comic comment, according to my judgment, is going to win that pile of comics. Um, so I, I need some comments, I need some likes, I need you guys to spread the word, and that's going to really help everybody. Um, so that's that. Uh, I don't really have any other news as far as um, things going on in small press. I've been uh, doing a lot of work on uh, the next issue of my mini comic, so my mind's been there. Um, I'm in fact going to later today probably finish off the How to Make a 20 Page Mini Comic um, series with the printing of the, the issue number 21. So, anyway, we're going to get right to the one comic that has come in since the last episode. Um, remember, if you want to get your comic featured, look down below. Boom. And you can find out how to send me a copy through the mail. That's the best way to do it because then I can hold it, physically show it to people. Um, otherwise, we will take PDFs and do our best to show them on screen. I need to learn some video editing so I can switch to a screenshot and all that kind of... I have a lot of work to do <laughs> as far as um, figuring out how to make videos. Uh, I'm not the best at it. I'm just learning as I go. Um, but if you want yourself featured, you got to do some effort. Get your information to me. It's down below. Alan Sism has put out oomph, number one. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's a title that's been used before in the past somewhere. I'm not sure if he used it or if it's something he's um, just kind of adopting or whatever. But this is a lovely little mini comic. It's got a beautiful cover, as you can see, full color, front and back on the cover. Um, the production values are decent. Um, I've noticed a little tiny bit of graininess in the uh, logo and the issue number. Like, um, it just needs a little bit more um, 
resolution to really uh, show off the uh, pop, make it pop and show a little bit. Maybe even uh, uh, with the issue number here, you can see it's really small and otherwise you can't really see if I can get any close. Anyway, I definitely need a better camera to show better details. Life goes on. Um, but anyway, this is a November 18th, or uh, November 2018 edition. It is $2 post it's paid, which is a decent price for a, I believe this is about 24 pages. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times four is 21. Seven times four is 28. So this is a 28 page. Okay. Math. You gotta love it. Anyway, um, Humph, Humph, however you want to pronounce it, is a um, one gag per page type of um, comic. Usually those read very fast and they go by. They're forgettable and you throw them out, and, or not throw them out, but you know, set them aside and you're done reading and you don't really pick them back up again. But this one has some really good funny stuff in it. Um, the uh, creators that we have, take off my glasses so I can read. Um, the creators inside range from Larry Johnson, Larry Blake, Larry Tish. Um, for the most part, uh, that's the uh, creators of these comics. I do not see any other names mentioned throughout. Um, very good, talented people that have been in small press for ages. And um, they make some really good comics. And some of them have current uh, political slant to them, which are funny. I think my favorite one was the, uh, the, the where it is it? it had to do with the cow. There it is. Um, plastic cows, fake moos. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Anyway, that's just me. Um, some of these particular cartoons, like say this one on this page. Probably could have been shrunk just a little bit. Put one there, put one there. Um, with other such things like that. This page could have been shrunk just a little bit and been the other side. Which would have made a little bit more room for more material. Um, but that's really nitpicky stuff as far as designing a comic goes. This has plenty of fun and good production values to it. Does do one thing that I particularly don't care for, and that it leaves the um, inside covers blank. Um, I really would have printed on the inside covers, but maybe because it's a full color thing and he doesn't have access to a printer that will print both sides. Um, of that paper properly or a home pr home printer that um, allows him to accomplish that without bleeds I don't really s see any bleeding on the uh, paper itself here it could have been printed on I would like to have seen just a page in here that says hi I'm Alan Sism and this is my new series. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to present these things, whatever, and that would have been a nice, that's probably the only thing that's missing from this. Um, other than that, it is a great book. I thoroughly enjoyed reading it. it. Made me laugh a few times. It's got some funny stuff in it. Uh, I hope you will check it out. Alan Sism, his information is below. And we will hopefully see him get some new fans and readers of his efforts. Um, he has been putting out 
a number of mini comic size publications for a, a, a few months now that have been coming at a good good regular clip so um, he's becoming more and more active um, which is always a good sign that he's having fun and as a publisher it's always fun when people come and read your stuff so go read his stuff um, that's pretty much it for this episode um, I do more if I had more publications so send them to me um, the person that leaves the best comment and spreads the word and makes this here video work the best is going to get that huge stack of mini comics that I wrote and my graphic novel which is ten dollar value um, collection of nine issues of Smiley's graphic novel all good stuff hopefully that you would enjoy and would want so spread the word <laughs> anyway that's it for today uh, we will see you next week with whatever comes in and thank you for watching uh, Indie Scavenger newsletter um, spread the word about periodical paradise the how-to videos are definitely worth uh, watching for anyone that does not know how to make a mini comic other than um, just like a simple eight page one this one shows you how to make a full book that's thicker and more like these that I'm showing off uh, hopefully we'll get in some more digest size and other size comics as we go um, just for variety and all that kind of stuff and whatever PDFs come in we'll I'm going to try and figure out a uh, way that however I don't have a video editor program really um, that can hey this is my face oh no that's the screen we'll figure that out as we go here <laughs> this is an amateur show about amateur comics and that's why we love it all right um spread the word we'll talk to you later thank you for watching